Hey guys, it's Josh coming to you with another Barefoot Shoe review and I'm excited for many reasons. Number one, I'm outside for a change today. And number two, and number three, I'm gonna tell you in a minute. But uh, before we do all that and dive into the review, hit like, hit subscribe, hit notify, the usual YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, notify. You're gonna wanna catch my videos when they come out, especially if you're into Barefoot Shoes like me. Uh, secondly, you're gonna wanna follow me on Instagram at Barefoot Shoe Josh, Barefoot Shoe Josh on Instagram. I do more detailed reviews there than what I do here on YouTube. And plus, you know, cool pics of barefoot shoes on your Instagram feed. All right, so let's dive into the review. Today we're doing Flux Footwear is the company and the Adapt Runner is the model. Now, those two things I just said, the name of the company and the name of the model are the other two reasons I'm excited. Number one, Flux Footwear. It's a brand new barefoot shoe company on the market, which I love when we have the more companies we have joining us, getting into the healthy footwear movement, the barefoot shoe movement, the more variety, the more technologies, the more things that we have to choose from as barefooters, all right? So that excites me. Secondly, Adapt Runner, the model. It's a running shoe, and if you're a runner and you love barefoot shoes, then you already know there's not a whole ton of barefoot shoe running shoes out there. So uh, anytime a new company is gonna dive in and make a running shoe in the barefoot market, I'm excited about it, all right? So that, those are the reasons I'm excited for this video. Hopefully you are too. And this shoe is gonna be good, not just for uh, expert or experienced barefooters that have been around a long time, but also for newbies as a traditional shoe, because as you can see at first glance, this might even scare you away if you're a barefooter. You might think, I'm not even sure that's a barefoot shoe. Just by looking at it, it looks a little scary, looks a little thick. Does it have a toe spring? Does it have a heel? I don't know, but you know what? I'm gonna cover all those things in this video, so hang out for a minute, all right? Okay, I'm gonna do the easy ones first. There is no, uh, you know, as far as the barefoot shoe values, it meets all of them, okay? But the first two easy ones, there's no arch support on the inside. Secondly, it's got an anatomic foot shape. So this is on the wide side. I haven't tried them on my feet yet, uh, but it's on the wide side. So I'm excited about that. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna give you the basics of the shoe, and then I'm gonna show them to you on my feet, and then I'm gonna go off camera for who knows, a day, a week, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna put some running in on these things, and I'm gonna come back to you at the end of the video and give you my honest opinion on how they performed, how they fit, all that kind of stuff, all right? So this is just the basics of the shoe. No arch support anatomic foot shape specifically with a toe off forefoot shape which is designed for running mechanics because if your gait is aligned and your feet are aligned and you're running you should be springing off the big toe and so that shape is made with that in mind in particular so check out the shape great shape okay those are the easy ones okay no arch support and anatomic foot shape Boom, now we get to the ones that you're wondering about by looking at the shoe. Is that a zero drop shoe? Is that a toe spring? Is that a heel? I don't know. It's actually zero drop. Shocking, I know. But there's actually a flat surface from like here and it just kind of cuts straight across and you're just standing on a flat surface. All you're looking at is aesthetics on the side and on the bottom. So you're like have two parallel surf surfaces. You're standing on the flat surface and the bottom one just kind of curves up to meet you. So that with that rocking kind of motion of, of a run, you still have that curve. So even though you're standing on a zero drop surface, awesome. So the looks are deceptive in that regard. Also the thickness. Now this one might shock you. 22 millimeters. Now, some of you uh, barefooters are gonna wanna turn off the video. Don't, just listen for a minute, okay? Because this is what I, what I said about new companies and exciting technologies and all that kind of stuff when they're joining the market, doing new stuff. This company, even though it's a new company, it was uh, founded in part with a uh, former Reebok designer. As you know, Reebok has a sports, running, training, emphasis. So does Flux Footwear, at least at this stage of the game. So. Just because it's 22 millimeters, it's not like your average 22 millimeter shoe that might scare you away. It has some new technologies. Boom, part of it is right there on the sole. You see those hexagons? That's part of their adapt sole technology. It carries through not only the outsole, but through the midsole, which you can't see, and on into this removable insole. So you see the hexagons are here. It's got texture. You are standing on a texture. If you leave these in your shoe, on the inside of the shoe, if you decide to take these out and lose a little thickness, the inside of the shoe is smooth, all right? But in the midsole region, those hexagons do carry through. And the reason is, basically, you know, as you kind of push on them, they feed back the ground feel all the way through the midsole, the adapt foam midsole, through the adapt sole system, all the way into these hexagons here, and give you more ground feel and feedback than you might ordinarily have in a 22 millimeter shoe, all right? 
So, uh, yeah, there you go. But as I mentioned, there is texture there, which you do feel, especially if you're like a no sock barefoot shoe person, you're definitely gonna feel that. I, I, I cheated and put my barefoot on this just to see what it felt like because I heard about it before I tried it. And I actually kind of like it. I, I like texture on my feet. I think it feels good. But um, so there's that. So the, the, those things that I mentioned, uh, it does uphold all the barefoot shoe values. I'm putting the insole back in while I'm talking to you. Uh, all the stuff, zero drop, yes. Um, anatomic foot shape, yes. No arch supports, yes. And now, it is thicker than usual, okay? And it does give you good ground feel, but I will tell you the flexibility is not like the same as a five millimeter shoe, obviously, okay? It does curve, right? I, I did do it like a taco test a second ago. I just gotta figure out how to grab it. So it does a little bit of taco test. Not, again, not like a, t but you can see how those hexagons separate a little bit, which is kind of cool. Uh, and how some of that feedback can go through there. So yeah, and, and twisty tests. So yeah, it's not a crumble up a ball of paper shoe like some of the shoes, which, you know, I like those, I love those. Uh, it's a running shoe, okay? Now at my stage of the game, there's tough love that we put into our feet, building them, strengthening them, keeping them healthy, letting them spread out and, and splay and all that kind of stuff. But there's occasions where you're gonna wanna baby your feet a little bit. Maybe if you're a hardcore runner and you're putting in tons of miles in the concrete jungle, on the sidewalks, on the asphalt. If you've ever looked up the pounds per square inch of pressure that your ankles and your knees take running on those surfaces, and if you're doing miles and miles and miles, day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, boom, dude, there ain't nothing wrong with a little cushion is all I'm saying in the right circumstances. That The other 97% of your life you can wear the most hardcore barefoot shoes you want, but there's nothing wrong with uh, taking care of your feet and protecting them a little bit for a run, all right? So I'm excited about that. I started jogging recently, picking back, picking running back up, and I've been looking for a good pair of running shoes, and these things showed up just at the right time. So uh, as I mentioned, I'm gonna try these out. And, well, actually first, before I do that, price. You're gonna wanna know the price. They retail for $139.99, but you get 10% off if you use my affiliate link down here in the video description. So do that, it's right there for you. Save 13, 14, 15 bucks uh, on these shoes with my link. And also they do have a waterproof version of this shoe and uh, it's $149.99. So it's 10 bucks more, but again, you save 10% with that too. And you know what, I didn't call to, to your attention the upper material it's called adapt knit so it's their own thing but number one it's look at that stretchy stuff and also the first look of it with the laces and all that you think it's probably gonna have a tongue and all those annoying seams and all that garbage which you know I hate <laughs> I'm a slip-on shoe person uh, but deceptive again they're, they're they're winning across the board with uh, deceptive appearances look at that it's just like a sock there is no separate tongue okay it's all one thing uh, it's like a big sock and then on the outside of that quote unquote sock they've attached these anchors for laces so that you can cinch them cinch them up and get the best possible fit in terms of width and volume for your feet boom smart look at that's what i mean by new technologies from new companies coming in being all smart and stuff flux footwear what's up so again i'm gonna try them on my feet so you can see what they look like and then i'm gonna go off camera for some period of time do running walking whatever try them out come back and give you my honest opinion on the fit the feel and how they hold up and all that kind of stuff all right stay tuned watch the rest of the video and get the full deal <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? So it's been about a week and a half since the last time I talked to you. And yes, I put the same shirt back on just for continuity. <laughs> but, but anyway, I've put over a dozen miles on these shoes, a little running, a little walking. I do my walk every morning. A, a funny thing is I did realize that my morning walks 
exact same length I do every day. For whatever reason, or just a little bit faster when I, when I wear these shoes. It makes me think of when I was a kid, I, I look at my shoes and say, hey, you get new shoes and your friends will say, oh, are they fast? Well, these are fast shoes. I've never heard of such a thing as an adult, but legitimately I time my walks every morning and my walks were like two minutes faster in these shoes than in my other shoes. So I don't know what to attribute that to. Maybe that little extra curve and that toe off um, four foot shape works wonders. I don't know. Maybe I was just extra motivated this week with wearing my new shoes. But what am I going to say about these shoes? All right. Uh, after wearing them, uh, super comfortable. Love the soft, stretchable. I mean, look, you can, you can probably see how stretchy they are just with my fingers, right? Stretchy, breathable, that adapt knit is wonderful. Um, the soles are cushioned. Like I said, I'm used to wearing more hardcore barefoot shoes, uh, 95 plus, 99% of the time actually for, for the last however many years. Um, so I wasn't sure I was gonna like the cushion, but I gotta admit, you know, like I mentioned earlier, for two circumstances at least, this is a great fit. Number one, if you're new to barefoot shoes, you're transitioning in, you don't wanna go straight for the hardcore two millimeter, five millimeter soles, 22 millimeters, these are gonna be a good transition. They, they're still nice and wide. They, they still have that, what they say is a zero drop right through there, like an invisible line. It's just a little kind of foolia toe spring maybe. Uh, you can kind of see how they're flexible and all that. Um, that's gonna be a great fit for you. Also for hardcore barefooters like me, been doing barefoots a long time. Hey, you know, you're, you realize you're probably wearing the more thin, super duper ground feel shoes, 95, 99% of the time, but you like to run and you don't mind treating your feet a little nicer, giving yourself a little cushion out here running on the asphalt and the concrete. These make perfect sense. Oh, the other thing I was thinking about, I went to Costco. These employees walking around on this hard concrete floor all day for multiple hours a day. And then I started thinking about nurses who I've often heard complain about their feet, walking around in hospitals, their feet are killing them. You know, people like that. These are gonna be an awesome fit for you, okay? Uh, that 22 millimeters makes a difference. It still does have a surprising amount of ground feel for 22 millimeters. I actually went around trying to see how small of a pebble can I step on and still feel it, and you would be shocked. I don't have I don't have one right here handy, but here we go. Literally, I felt, I, ooh, where's the camera? That little pebble right there, you could feel that stepping on this if you're paying attention. Uh, so it was surprising, okay? So that technology that they're bringing here, the adapt soles, the adapt midsoles, uh, adapt foam and all that, uh, hey, surprising, um, surprising ground feel. But you know, it's not gonna be the same as a five millimeter sole, it just isn't. So uh, for a lot of people, these are gonna be an awesome fit. Um, if you're running or if you're working on hard surfaces all day, or you're new to barefoot shoes, these are some great opportunities to wear this shoe. Uh, great width on it, flexible material, breathable. Uh, I did try to show you earlier how there was no tongue, but I decided to yank the lace off here so you could see it. It's just one big like sock. They slap these two things on here just so you can put laces. So I actually have wide enough, high enough volume feet that I don't need the laces. I'm gonna throw them on like this now and just rock them like that because I don't need the laces. But if you have uh, lower volume feet, you might want to leave the laces on, cinch them a little bit, I don't know. Uh, so that's my experience. I, overall positive, surprisingly positive. I, I, I didn't know what to think when I first saw them. You probably didn't either. But uh, hey, if you have any of those circumstances where you think it would be good to have a little extra cushion, Dude, try them out. Solid company. Welcome to the club. Flux Footwear. Glad you're here. Making a contribution to the Barefoot community. Bringing new styles. Bringing new technologies. Thanks for doing that. Awesome shoes. And if those still aren't for you, Flux Footwear also has another model called the Adapt Trainer, which I'll review in a separate review. Uh, less than half of the thickness of the sole there. You're going to want to check those out as well because uh, all of the other technologies are in place, but they do have a little bit of a thinner sole. Still a little cushion maybe. Uh, check those out. All right. Uh, thanks for everyone for joining. Catch you on the next go around. We'll see ya.